Cassie and you wandered back into the training area where Jungkook was yelling at a kid because they stepped on his foot. But as soon as Jungkook saw you enter the room, he walked over to you, leaving the recruits to their shooting practice. I hate training recruits. Jungkook barked so that the newbies could hear him. Calm down, Jungkook. You spoke calmly as you directed him over to the chairs to sit down. Is this the only chair in the room? You was scanning the room when Jungkook pulled you onto his lap. Seriously, you cushioned him, raising your eyebrow. Gotta let them know what's mine. He grinned proudly. He had his head resting on your shoulder as you watched the regret strain. None of them really stuck out yet with their skill. When will we go? You murmured in his ear, becoming bored very fast. Now, he stood up while making sure you didn't fall. Alright, go home. Jungkook rode across the room at the newbies who basically sprinted out as soon as they got the opportunity to leave. Jungkook took his hand in yours. Let's go to the funeral. He rolled his eyes, which you wasn't expecting. You guess he wanted today to end as quickly as possible, but it must have been going slow for him. You both arrived at the church on time. What are you doing here? You have still got a half an hour left with the recruits. I questioned Jungkook. Jungkook is in a bad mood so we left early before he decided to kill them all. You nodded frantically, a skull appearing on Jungkook's face. You both made your way into the church quickly, deciding to sit up. Sit up at the top. You gawked back at the rows full of people dressed in all black. Jungkook's father was not among them. Thankfully, there were so many rows that were full and people were still flooding into the church. Jungkook sat next to you. He was stiff like he couldn't move. Your, your guess is that he had to be as cold as ice right now. Coincidentally, I spotted in and sat next to Jungkook right as you thought that. This is a lot of people, you whispered quietly due to the fact that no one talking and the only noise you could hear was cries of mourning people or the shuffling of feet. Jungkook gazed into your eyes. There's a lot of mafia men in here, stay close to me YN. He warned you, they are burying his mother and he is worrying about you. Stop worrying about me, I'll be fine. You judge him playfully, hoping to cheer him up slightly. But nothing, not even a blink. He was so empty, which you couldn't blame him for being. Maybe this was your first glance into the Jungkook that everyone saw, cold and lifeless. You played with your hands as the ceremony started due to nerves. We are here today to honor our dearly beloved Denise John. She was a mother, a daughter, a friend, and a warrior. Jungkook's hand grabbed yours. At first, you thought it was because you was playing with them, but when you glanced at him, he had his eyes shut tightly. You realized he was holding on to you for support, security, comfort. Our fingers interlocked as squeezed his hand to give him a bit of assurance that it would be alright. She will live on in our hearts. She has left behind many amazing people including her son Jungkook, who was the most precious thing she ever had. Your heart clenched to add those words. You wanted to break something or hurt someone for him so you can only imagine all the feelings he is fighting off right now. 
He squeezed your hand tighter and she stared straight ahead blankly. You knew your Jungkook was still. Still in there, currently hiding from the pain beneath a mask, he couldn't let himself seem weak because that would make him less of a threat. You watched his jaw clench as he stared at the coffin. You was afraid he would crack under the pressure. You had to break away from your thoughts of Jungkook and also watch the coffin like he was. You feel like if his dad would have let his mom comfort him he, when he cried or got hurt. That may be, he wouldn't be so damaged now, but you like Jungkook now, flaws and all. You couldn't imagine Jungkook if he wasn't damaged goods. It would be weird if he felt comfortable around people he knew like a normal person would. It would be weird to see him laugh at everyone's joke instead of just blink at them and refuse to crack a smile for their ego. You couldn't imagine him not being selfish and you know. He's selfish but when it comes to being around you, for some reason he is the opposite. He's funny, creative, smart, selfless. In a blink of an eye, people were carrying Jungkook's mom's coffin outside and here's that was waiting to take her to the graveyard already. Jungkook hadn't dared to pull both of your hands away from each other. You knew he needed you and you was more than okay with comforting him even if it was just holding his hand for support. The car ride was silent on the way to the graveyard. You glanced at the young eyes and Jungkook, who all sat in the luminous with their heads down and dull blank expressions planted on their face. Jungkook still had your hand and refused to let go. Taehyung was wearing a grey suit with a black tie and Ice was wearing a dark blue suit with a dark blue tie. The seats were made of leather and the roof had a bunch. Bunch of a buttons on it. You clicked one and the radio began to play making you jump. Jungkook let go of your hand and wrapped his arms around your waist. The car came to a stop and you glanced over at Jungkook who was asleep with his head resting against the top of the seat. You really didn't want to wake him due to the fact that he didn't sleep at all last night. But who could blame him? Jungkook, you whispered and he didn't budge. Ice and Taehyung got out, leaving you to wake up Jungkook. Jungkook, you said louder but not enough to scare him. Jungkook, you gripped his shoulder shaking him. His eyes shot open and he grabbed your wrist squeezing it tightly. You winced in pain which seems to snap him out of his trance. When you looked at him, his bright brown eyes were widened and dark and his expression was frightened. Once he realized what he was doing, he immediately released his grip on your wrist. I'm sorry, I didn't. You kissed him, interrupting his sentence. You knew he was stressed out and paranoid that his father would come back today. It's okay, you said softly and broke the kiss. We should probably go out, you muttered quietly. Yeah, Jungkook noted climbing out of the car, he took your hand and helped you out of the car. You want to pull your hand away but he didn't let you. He examined your wrist before planting a kiss on it. Before you interrupted me back there, I was going to say I'm sorry, I didn't know where I was or who you were. 
Oh, shut up, you said with a light happy tone. You seen him fight off a smile. Your eyes followed the coffin that was being lowered into the ground. Jungkook stood still and tense as always. You saw Jisoo, Kai, Grayson and Chase in the crowd of people who were also staring at the coffin. It was completely silent. He tried his best to control his tears but failed miserably. He broke down in front of everyone. The Jungkook John heartless and merciless mafia started crying his heart out in front of the In front of the people who always cursing him behind his back being a heartless but now they are looking at him with saddest eyes. You looked at Jungkook and unknowingly you started crying looking at his miserable condition. People started to leave but Jungkook just stood there staring at the ground crying silently. Kai grabbed your attention. You waved him away and he nodded following his family. Everyone had dissolved and you felt a drop of rain hit your head. He calmed down a little and stopped crying. His so sobs are disappeared now. Jungkook had his eyes closed and his fist clenched. You touched his hand but he pulled away. Don't touch me YN. He spied angrily at you. You was kind of shocked. Don't touch me. I don't think... His breathing became heavy as he struggled to say what he wanted to. I don't think I can keep it together if you touch me, he shouted turning to you. You didn't move, you didn't even make a facial expression. Don't touch me, I don't want to be touched, he roared at you. Rain started to suddenly pour from the sky. She's gone and now there's no one why and he shouted calming down. I have no one. He slowly calmed down, but you see his eyes become glossy again. He swallowed the lump in his throat as he gazed at you. He started struggling to breathe in front of you. He bottled it up. Why didn't you realize that he wasn't trying to ignore it? He was bottling it instead. I'm so tired of everything, Ian. He lit his lip quicker. I'm so tired. He wa his voice sounded weak and fragile. A tear slipped out of his eye. You was speechless. You didn't know how to console him. You was never shown any type of pity when you was at home until you met Jungkook. The only time you was shown was when your father announced your engagement. J Jungkook, he stood in front of you. You have me. You have us. You reminded him. I'm not going to magically disappear or run away or die. I'm right here, standing in front of you. You spoke gently. The rain was wetting your clothes and hair. Your dress became slightly baggy and your hair knotted as the rain got heavier. I'm here, always. You grabbed his face. You are tired and grieving. You need to take time off from the Mafia. Let Ice or Tehyeom take over for just a few days please Jungkook. You are not okay mentally to, to go back to work. You begged him. You would get on your knees and beg if you had to. The only warmth you had in this freezing rain was your hands against Jungkook's face. It was wet but warm. He stared at you weakly. have got you he asked you have always had me you smiled slightly trying to fight off the quicker that wanted to shake your lip my mom she was the only person who wanted to show me any sympathy after what my father put me through jungkook sounded hurt and you don't blame him and i don't even remember what my last words were to her he shook his head, water droplets running down his face and millions dripping from the strands of his hair on the front of his face. The sides of Jungkook's haircut was tight and close to the skin but the top was a medium length. 
Let me help you. You whimpered pleadingly to him. He gave you an unsure glance. He didn't want to let you get close because you could die, because you wasn't immortal. But neither was he. The rain started to sting from how good it was. You was exhausted and so was he. We can go home. We can order food and watch shows that make me cry and you can laugh at me because I'm crying. Let's go home. You urged him still holding his face in your hands. He stared at his. He stared at his mother's grave and back at you. He nodded. You gave him a soft smile. You pulled him close, hugging him tighter. You had your arms around his neck and his arms were around your waist. He buried his head into your neck as you shut your eyes. He was so warm. It's all you could focus on. You both stood silently in that position for what felt like hours and you ordered it, adored it. Not the fact that he was hurting but more that he was. He was vulnerable, honest. When you open your eyes, realize that some of the droplets were turning to snowflakes. You gazed at the snowflakes that were suddenly all around both of you. You started giggling uncontrollably and saw that Jungkook still had his head buried in your neck. Jungkook looked, you shrieked with a happy tone. It was cold but bearable. You saw Jungkook's face light up, but his cheeks were still wet from the tears. You seen a slight smile appear on his face. It's snowing. You cheered giddily like a child. You loved snow. You remember back when you and your brothers would check if it had snowed outside every day up until Christmas. When it did, you all would hurry and get your snow boots and on you all would rush outside and have a snowball. It used to be you, Jin. Jin and J-Hope against Jimin, Namjoon and Yoongi. You remember staying outside until you couldn't feel your hands and your nose was red and stuffy. It's times like these you miss your brothers. They may have let your father abuse you but they are still your brothers and you will always love them. They are the only family you have. You observe Jungkook's Jungkook his face was pointed up to the sky with his eyes tightly shut taking in the... Taking in the free feeling of the freezing cold snowflakes against his warm, moderately tanned skin. But it's times like this that you would rather be with Jungkook. These peaceful moments, you get to see these glimpses of the real Jungkook. You get to see him when he is at his lowest and at his highest, when he is at his weakest and his strongest. You are not taking him for granted. You know he is a bad a guy and he is a devil, but to you he is an angel.